Hello friends and welcome back to another Mail Art Monday video. So there I was just laying out some of the papers I thought I might use to decorate some envelopes this, this morning. I woke up super early to get some time in my craft room. I have two young boys, a four-year-old and a nine-month-old, and sometimes early, early in the morning is the only time I have for myself. So it's not unusual for me to climb out of bed at like four o'clock in the morning <laughs> to come down uh, to my craft room and get some stuff done just for me. So this was one of those mornings where I climbed out of bed super early and um, I wanted to make some envelopes. So this first one here, um, I chose that yellow paper to get started and I just wanted to make something bright and sunny and happy and I really love how it ended up turning out. But here I'm just getting some base layers of larger collage pieces before I start adding on some, some of the fun details and stickers and stuff. Sometimes I edit out a lot of my indecisive moments while working on my projects. It takes me sometimes a long time to decide what to use and where, <laughs> but I left a lot of that in today just because it's more real and that's how I work. And you know, you can see the entire process in today's video. All right, I'm busting out the stamps again. And you'll see me use this stamp, this particular stamp, uh, several times if you watch through a couple of my videos because it is freaking beautiful and I love it. couple of these giant sticker books that have over a thousand stickers in each one. I think I have four of them and I know I probably won't use every single sticker out of every single book but I don't know I feel like they were a really good deal. I can't remember exactly how much they were but they're so beautiful. I like I love them and I they've come in really handy for like just little accents here and there, both in my journal and for pen pal stuff. Now here on the back of the envelope, I usually like to try to put something back there, like a little mini collage or a little cluster of something, just so that it's not just totally naked. Now, 
just adding a little splash of washi tape, which always adds a little extra layer and dimension. And that'll finish off that first envelope. And now I'm trying to figure out where to go with the second one. I really wanted to use that like checkered, I don't even know how to describe it, that bigger square piece of paper there. Um, but I did not end up working that in. Spoiler alert. <laughs> Instead, I just like pasted this entire old quilting page onto the front <laughs> and just added everything on top of that. a few washi tapes that I liked with this like scheme for this envelope so I'm incorporating quite a bit more of it in this design washi has got to be one of my favorite craft supplies it's good for literally any project that you can think of and it's not only pretty, it's functional. You can do different kinds of functional things with it. And yeah, it's probably one of the things I would recommend the most if you're just starting off a stash. The other thing I would say if you're just starting out with your collection is to buy ones that truly speak to you and that are really your style and that you love. Um, and don't necessarily make your decision on what is cheap and widely available or popular at the very minute because I've definitely made that mistake before and I have a big old butt ton of washi tape that I just never use. So learn from my mistake and buy the ones you truly love and pass on the rest. those vintage lady die cuts actually on Amazon if you guys might be interested in that I will leave a link for them down below if you like the vintage style that might be something you might be interested in And final envelope for today's video. I feel like each envelope got progressively simpler as I was working this morning and uh, I don't mind it but yeah this one doesn't have a whole lot going on for it. It's still pretty but just not too complicated and that's okay sometimes. So 
this piece with a butterfly here is actually part of a napkin. If you watched my recent journal with me video, it's the same napkin that that hydrangea flower was on. So I'm just using this little scrappy piece here for an envelope decoration. I used to be really paranoid about basically collaging anything, especially with a glue stick on something that was gonna go through the postal service because I was just assuming that it would be completely destroyed by the time it reached its destination. But actually they hold up pretty well. I've been proven wrong on that. Um, and pleasantly, pleasantly surprised by that. I'm no longer afraid to use my glue stick and a couple layers of paper. This envelope stays pretty simple, just a couple of washi stickers added on to the collage and a little cluster back here on the back and that's about it for this one. So I hope you enjoy today's video. Uh, my last Mail Art Monday, the two envelopes were like very coordinated and like looked like the same kind of a theme. And today's envelopes, all three of them are like vastly different. <laughs> I guess it was just the mood I was in this day. But yeah, if you enjoyed watching this video, I would appreciate it if you would hit that thumbs up button. And if you wanna see more videos like this from me in the future, don't forget to subscribe. As always, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.